Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Sone. Today we are going to be figuring out fog and or golf of tables. Okay, so when you have a table as we do here, if it's saying f of g of 4, which is the same thing as f of g of 4 here, both of these mean the same thing, that means that you need to plug in 4 into the g of x function, get a value, and then plug that into the f of x function. Well, the functions are tables. So remember that this is the x value. So we need to plug in 4 for x into g. Well, if I plug in 4 into the g function, they are labeled. See the tables? This is f of x. This is g of x. If I plug in 4 for x, I get 1 as an output, which means g of 4 is 1. And then if I take this 1 and plug it in to the f of x function, because it's f of 1, I would end up getting a value of 12. So that means this would equal 12. All right? So let's try another one. Let's say we have, um, let's do f of g of 12, okay? Which is the same thing as saying f of g of 12. Well, that means that we would be taking the x value of 12 into the g of x function, which is right here. And when I plug in 12, I get out a 10. So this is going to be f of 10 because g of 12 is 10. Try and make that 10 look better. Then once I get the 10, that is again the x value. I need to plug that in to the f of x one. 10 as the x value gave me an 11 for the y value. So this whole thing is 11. All right. One more, one more, one more. Let's do, let's do g of f of um, blah, 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 zero which is the same thing as saying g of f of 0, which means that we plug 0 not into g, but into f first, because you got to work from the inside out. So I plug 0 into f of x. That would give me 13. So we're really doing g of 13. And I look at the g of x function. I find 13. And if I plugged in 13, I would get 9. And our final answer would be 9. Okay? So we're going to do another video dealing with how to figure these out if they are graphs. But this is how to do it if they are tables. Okay? So be sure to stay tuned. I would make sure that you do the graph one. Those are very famous SAT questions. This is also a famous SAT question as well. All right? I will talk to you all later. Bye.